He may be the most hyped and heralded defensive player in college football history, but as Jadavion Clowney do for a letdown. Ray Crawford here with managing editor Pete Futek, and Pete Clowney is going to be playing on a defense that loses seven starters. He says he wants to break the all-time NCAA sack record of 27. Do you think his numbers, though, will actually dip? In his, oh, in this yeah, year? I'd like to have the sack record as well. It's not going to happen either. The, the problem is that this season, is everybody's going to be focusing on Clowney, and he's going to get double team, triple team. He's going to be great. He's going to have one or two games where he just absolutely blows up, but no chance he gets to 27. I do think he dips in a big way. Doesn't mean he's a worse player. Doesn't mean he's not going to go number one over on the draft next year, probably. But boy, getting the 27 sacks is going to be really, really hard considering everyone in the stadium is going to be focused on him. On offense, what concerns you the most? The, the line play, five Finding a replacement for Lattimore, just getting a clear-cut starter at quarterback. All the above. You know, it's Steve Spurrier's MO to switch quarterbacks by, you know, play, much less by drive, much less by game. And he's going to do that this year with Connor Shaw and Dylan Thompson. They do have replacements for Lattimore. they got speedy runners back there. And the offensive line, though, to me, is going to be the biggest issue. He has never gotten big-time play on the line under Steve Spurrier. They have problems with pass protection. They've been good for the running game, just not great. The line is always going to be shaky there, but overall the offense is going to be good, not great. It's going to be the defense that's going to win games. All right, prediction time. First, let's talk about Jadavion Clowney. Will, will he win South Carolina's first Heisman Absolutely since 1980? Not. No, no, Absolutely no, no. not? No chance. Okay. No chance. Right. You know, he's just not. I mean, it's so hard for a defensive player to win. The stats aren't going to be there. And like I said before, I think he can probably cut his stats in half. He'll still be an All-American, still be great. I just don't think he's going to get the numbers to get there. All right, next, let's talk about the actual schedule now here. And uh, they've got North Carolina from the ACC. They end with Clemson from the ACC. So how many wins do you foresee? It's about what they don't have. They don't have Alabama, they don't have LSU, and they don't have Texas A&M from the West. So if they can somehow get by those big games in the East, if they can get by Georgia, get by Florida, then all of a sudden they're in the SEC championship game. I don't think they get by the Bulldogs. I think they trip up at Missouri. Missouri's going to be a lot better this year. That's kind of a trap game for them. I think those are the two games they lose, and that's what's going to cost them a shot at the SEC title. 10-2, and two, very good season, but like last year, they're going to kind of be in that middle area where they just can't get out of the East. Again, 10-2. and two. Falling just short. All yep. right, Pete, thanks very much. For more previews and conference previews as well, keep it here to CampusInsiders.com.